Aloha Trinity friends and family. This has been a great year for Trinity and the prospect for our future has never looked brighter. The biggest development this year for Trinity has been the expansion of our school, in particular the expansion of our secondary school. And this was a process that was begun seven or eight years ago with the commitment of some church leaders and some school leaders who saw a vision for expanding beyond sixth grade. And since then, this school has been able to expand to minister and serve 250 families, 370 students here in our school. And so this expansion is continuing in the secondary school with the splitting of seventh grade into two sections and then succeeding after that until we fully have expanded to two sections all the way to, through 12th grade. So to accommodate this expansion, we needed to expand our classroom space, which is what brings us here to this project, the Sato Building uh, Renovation. Our project officially kicked off mid-December when we announced a goal of raising 180,000 to accomplish this project. And then on January 9th, we had an excellent turnout for Demolition Day, uh, which is really a fun day where we had, again, a lot of volunteers and we accomplished that demolition in just one day cleaning out the building and tearing down walls. Construction began first on the deck that I'm walking on. And we did this on the back deck to serve as a staging area for our uh, supplies and the other renovation. But as soon as we built this, the students were out here and some classes out here doing discussions and just this being a really beautiful, tranquil place. This is our, what is going to be our art room. We've taken the ceiling out completely just to give it an open and airy um, feel in here and make for a nice big art space. And there will be a large wall here that uh, will be able to put a lot of the art on display. And once again, just a beautiful setting with great windows and a great view. We have uh, on either side the uh, classrooms that we've added with this building. So there'll be two humanities classes, uh, this one and uh, another one here with, uh, again, some beautiful windows uh, overlooking the trees and the marsh beyond. Uh, and these will serve uh, various classes for the school and allow us to expand really through four years uh, in our school and in our ability to double classes. So this is the one of the humanities classrooms. And in this case, in, this was an idea of one of our students actually to uh, leave the ceiling off because when we had taken the, the ceiling down, we saw that there was 100-year-old redwood from the original house, uh, which is beautiful. And so we've installed some special lights uh, to keep um, this, uh, uh, some of the heritage of the building in this room. So in addition to the art room and two classrooms, we'll have uh, some restrooms here, two restrooms and a storage closet. Over in this part of the building, there'll be two offices, one that will serve sort of as a uh, faculty lounge and a copier room, and then another office as well. Now we've designed the office with the wall in the middle, uh, that space so that we can easily take that wall out and convert that to another classroom as our expansion uh, continues as we double classes to 12th grade. So another uh, feature here is this large deck that we added to the front. We originally had plans for narrow steps uh, or somewhat narrower steps, but then it was a school parent who stopped by and said, boy, I wish we could have wider steps because the students just love to hang out on steps. And so we changed that and made that a design feature as well, just to keep uh, broad steps uh, is really a great place to hang out and also take uh, photos for the school as we can assemble here as well. From the beginning we've wanted to get students involved in designing this building and we've been asking them for their inputs along the way in terms of what uh, what is they'd like to see in the building. Uh, one of the things that kept coming up was lockers. The students really wanted more lockers and so we added a roof section here and added these lockers uh, to give them, uh, in fact bigger lockers, to give them that feature for the, this growing school. Okay, let me give you a fundraising update. To date, praise God, we've been able to raise $53,000 in cash gifts uh, and another $16,000 in gifts in kind, which is material and labor. Uh, so thank you to everyone. Thank you to the board members, uh, faculty and staff, parents and grandparents who have seen the future of the school and invested in it. Uh, now that said, we are still short of our goal of $180,000 to raise for this project. Now back in January, we felt the need to go ahead and begin this project in order that we might finish it before the beginning of next school year. So we stepped forward in faith, and today we've been able to remain on budget. But in order to complete this project, we're going to need more people who see a vision for the future of this school and are willing to invest in it. Now some people have asked how this project fits within the strategic plans for the school. First, let me assure you that uh, we are committed to finding property in this community that allows us to establish our school in greater permanence, 
uh, and fulfill the vision we have for the school. But in the meanwhile, know that our number one goal is to provide an excellent education and effective ministry for the families in this community. Whatever else we do, we are absolutely committed to working with children of all ages to lead them toward what we call a profile of a graduate. That is, young men and women who love God with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, and who love others as themselves. And they also love learning in a lifetime pursuit of truth, goodness, and beauty. We want them to think clearly, to reason honestly, and articulate precisely as they engage cultures with a Christian worldview and for the glory of God. And they will delight in the beauty of God's creation and man's reflection of it. And they will walk humbly with their God and before one another. So that is why we're here. The reason that we're expanding our secondary school and adding sections and doing this project here is in order to improve our program. While we're working on plans for a permanent campus, we must grow and mature our program. Expanding to two sections allows us to impact more families and educate more students. And by doing so, we can improve our course offerings and enable teachers to better specialize within their subject areas. Furthermore, with this expansion, we'll have, Lord willing, an increased enrollment. And with that, more financial means to do even more with the school. And so in that sense, any gift to this project has a multiplying effect. Once again, we have a goal of reaching $180,000 for this project, and that's our cost. And that cost already comes at a great discount. We had actually gotten a quote from a contractor for $340,000 if we were to just contract this out. But because of the labor that we have in-house and because of the skills and the leadership we have in-house, we're able to do this at a much lower cost. But we still need your help. Uh, for this project to continue, we still need people who are willing to give to it. And so let me share with you a couple ways you can do that. First, a very simple way to give is to go to our website. You can find a donor link in the upper right-hand side and then there find a link for the Sato Renovation Project. Uh, you could also come into the business office and uh, bring a check. Uh, we can also accept stocks and bonds for the tax advantage that they afford. And, um, and any gift that you give is tax deductible. That includes gifts in kind if you have any labor or materials that you'd like to contribute as well. Also, I encourage you just to come in and speak with me. Come in and let me show you around and we can find a way for you to contribute to this project. Uh, and that goes for anyone who would just like to come in and see what we're doing. Thank you so much for your continued partnership. This community surrounds our school with such love. So thank you for taking the time to listen and God bless. I'm excited about the school growing bigger and more people coming here to meet new people. Um, what's so good about our school growing and expanding is that it helps people come to learn about Christ. Having more people means more ideas and um, more ways that we can uh, show Trinity's good qualities. The sixth grade class is pretty big and we need more space. Yeah. More space is good. I think that Trinity can really only keep expanding. Um, I think that we're doing the Lord's work here, educating students in this uh, Christian cla classical method, and so I think that um, having more students is just going to increase um, this beautiful Christian community. Yeah, definitely. I think Sato's awesome. It, Sato rhymes with gelato, and gelatos are delicious. <laughs> ah! I think Miss Firth deserves an art room. <laughs> After all she's worked for, for all of us, um, there has a lot of space for art. Yes, I'm excited for the art room to be in here. Just how amazing Trinity is and how much it's like a family here. How everyone's a family. We're all bi a big family. It's like a family. All the students here are like one big family and they all watch out for each other. I think this project means that the school is growing in size, in reputation. Um, we're getting bigger classes, which means we need more classrooms. And I think that's great that more people are hearing about the school and getting integrated into this community. It shows that no matter what kind of resources you have, God will give you what you need. And that um, he's blessed us in a lot of ways just to give us the school. And now we have the new building. So I think it means that God is blessing us and will take us to new levels each and every year. Yes, it looks pretty cool, so I would like to go on class in the Sato building. Mm -hmm.